very often your seniors or your friends will tell you c is very old it's already been replaced by languages like c++ c hash javascript python java why are you still studying c so let's try to answer that question in a logical fashion let's not try to simply say c is the best let's try to defend it or give answers to why you should learn c as your first programming language if you try to learn java or c++ as your first language there are a few challenges you will encounter the first challenge is you have to understand the basic concepts of programming the second aspect is the most important aspect you have to learn the programming logic and thirdly a difficult to understand concept for beginners is known as a concept of objects or object oriented approach to programming don't get me wrong c++ java python are extremely useful and widely used languages and i would strongly recommend you to please make an effort to learn them later on but if you directly try to learn these java and c++ as your first language in addition to learning the programming concepts and programming logic you are also required to understand the concept of object oriented programming it becomes extremely burdensome for a beginner to understand these three major concepts at the same time so by splitting this learning into learning the programming logic and learning the basics of programming and then going into object oriented programming using c++ or java the learning cycle becomes much more easier and i have seen people who have started learning c and then gone to java and c++ tend to be better programmers because c makes you write code which uses less memory is faster and so on so i would suggest start with c then definitely go to c++ java and python and so on now a lot of times people will tell you c is not being used anywhere but you will not believe it or you'll be surprised that major portions of the operating system like windows linux unix are still written in c now suppose you get in a new hardware device it doesn't directly work with your pc because there is a software between your operating system and the hardware called as the device driver 90 plus percent of the device drivers are written using the c programming language the reason why they are written using c programming languages when it comes to performance and speed almost no modern programming language matches the power of c machine language is the fastest but impossible to almost write assembly is a good substitute but again takes a lot of time and difficult to write so c is the best alternative to write code which is faster to write and executes almost at the speed of the assembly language because of excellent compilers that have come into the market now we are living in an embedded world or a world of interconnected devices you got mobile phones you got microwave ovens you got smart networking devices you got alexa you got so many things okay you got software in washing machines also and even in baking toasts and all now in all of these devices there is something called as a microcontroller some of them do have a small operating system but the smartness of these devices is because of the program code and that program code is almost always written in c in some cases assembly if the space is very little so when it comes to performance using minimum space c has almost no competition and since the world is getting into a completely a digitized world or a digital world the value of learning c is only going to increase now i believe most of you have played computer games okay you will not play computer games if the response time or if the speed is not good the speed in computer games is achieved because majorly a lot of portions of the games are written in c so when you want performance when you want speed when you want good reaction time there is very little substitute to c 
lastly and most importantly you may work with java you may work with c++ you may work with python but when it comes with talking to the hardware and directly getting things done from the hardware there is almost no competition to c c can talk to the memory c can work with the operating system c can talk to the cpu c can work with different parts of the hardware because it's got fantastic facilities to directly talk with the hardware so the ability of different languages to interact with hardware if i had to rate it from highest to lowest c would be the highest then maybe c++ java would be quite low and python would be even lower so that's why if you want performance if you want speed if you want ability to interact with the hardware c has almost no competition i hope in this two part session you are clear why we are learning c and why it's such a wonderful language to start learning because once you master c you will develop into a programmer who is going to write lean mean and efficient code and that habit is going to carry over with you irrespective of what language you are going to learn